Added to the 2016 release of Excel were several new functions, such as forecast.ets, that will assist those building budgets and forecasts, particularly when working with historical data that reflects seasonality. Now, in addition to these new functions, Microsoft also added a very powerful new feature entitled Forecast Sheets that remains largely a mystery to many Excel 2016 users. In this tip, you're going to learn how you can put forecast sheets to use to create more accurate forecasts based on historical data. To create a forecast sheet in Excel 2016, you must first ensure that you have arranged your data properly. More specifically, you will need two columns of data, one column containing dates, such as column A in the spreadsheet that you currently see, and a second column containing historical data that corresponds to these dates. You will base your forecast off of this historical data, which in this example represents monthly sales information. Once you have arranged your data properly, simply click on any of the data points in the data set and then choose Forecast Sheet from the Data tab of the ribbon. Upon doing so, Excel then presents a preview of your forecast. Importantly, notice that the forecasted data appears in a different color on the line chart and also that Excel generates upper as well as lower confidence intervals as part of creating the forecasted data. Further, see that from this screen, you can go in and adjust the forecast ending period. In this example, suppose that we really only need to forecast our data through the end of 2018. By simply changing the date, our forecast updates in real time. You can also click Options to access and edit numerous options related to the forecast sheet. Among the more significant options available for edit is that of the confidence interval. That is to say, if you want to change the confidence interval from the default of 95% to any other value, you can certainly do that by editing options. Once you have completed editing any desired options, click Create to complete the process of creating the forecast sheet. Now, as you can see, the forecast sheet contains all of the historical data. It also contains the chart that was built for us automatically in this process. And as we scroll down in this range, eventually we will find that Excel presents to us all of the forecasted values. Notice that it is providing the forecast function, that is the forecast sheet, is providing us with the single point estimate for forecasted monthly sales, but it is also providing us with the confidence intervals, the lower confidence interval and the upper confidence interval. And again, those are based on the default confidence interval of 95%. The Forecast Sheet tool was added to Excel 2016, and it provides a superior option for quickly and easily creating forecasts based on historical data grouped by time period. Among the many benefits of using the Forecast Sheet feature is the tool's ability to recognize seasonality in your data and to, and to account for that seasonality when creating a forecast. That's something that traditional linear projections just simply do not do. Additionally, the speed with which you can create a forecast using the Forecast Sheet feature is unparalleled, providing an easy to use and quick approach to what could otherwise become a tedious and time consuming task. If you are currently running Excel 2016, you should look into using this tool to assist you when trying to build budgets and forecasts. And if you are not yet running Excel 2016, be sure to look for the Forecast Sheet feature when you do make the upgrade. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.